hello and welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time coming across my channel my name is kate this is kate vlogs kindly consider subscribing for the returning subscribers thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content uh, also don't forget to like this video and also for you not to miss uploads kindly tap uh, the post notification bell so that whenever i post a new video you will be alerted immediately in today's video i'm taking you um along with me to gikomba shoe market um where i'm going to buy some shoes for clients uh the clients are um some of them are in tana river uh, another one is in kisumu and another one is in eldred and that is exactly what i want to show you so like this video please comment on your thoughts and then let's get into the video Sometimes I even get lost when I'm in uh, Gikomba show market because this place is massive. This place is so big. Uh, if somebody tells you that uh, you should find them in point A, I'm telling you are going to take one hour. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for the longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah, we'll never be alone. Savannah, the beauty of the world. Savannah, let's all take a ride. Savannah. So welcome to today's video and I'm going to showcase Gikomba Shoe Market. Um, this Gikomba Market is one of the biggest second-hand markets in Eastern and Central Africa. This is where when you want to get any thrifting item, any second-hand clothes or any second-hand shoes, handbags, anything you want, even utensils, glasses, anything second-hand will find in this market and that is why I'm saying this is the largest actually it is the largest market in eastern and central africa let's go back to So before you get to where the actual selling of Walsall shoes is from, uh, you have to go through all this route to get to that point. Um, it is a very, very challenging activity. People are moving helter-skelter. Everybody is busy. And um, we have to do all we have to do to make sure that this content reaches you at the right time. So if you want to start a shoe business, it is not as straightforward as it looks. Uh, just going to Gikomba, you get the 50 shilling shoes and that's it. No, 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 no. There is a very, very tight procedure because um, the people that are opening the bales cannot sell directly to you. So we have to go through intermediaries. And before it reaches you, that shoe is around um, 70 to 100 shillings, depending on who is uh, assisting you to get uh, the shoes. So let me just make something clear that if you go to Gikomba, you are going to get shoes that will cost you even 10 shillings, 20 shillings, 30 shillings and 50 shillings. But they are not as good quality as the ones that I'm going to show you, like these ones that um, we are uh, putting on the ground. These shoes will cost you 50 shillings. But if you move just directly to Gikomba, you're not going to get these ones at 50 shillings most people will sell to you at 200 shillings and tell you to go and sell at 300 shillings but 
for you to get this kind of shoes very good quality shoe at a very very low price of 50 shillings you're supposed to pay the person that is going to choose the shoes from you from the people that are opening the bells and then you're also going to pay somebody that is going to pack these shoes in sacks and that will make uh, this cost um extend to around 70 to 80 shillings or up to even 100 shillings depending on the person that is helping you to choose the shoes and in this case because you are a member of kate vlogs i have done this uh, to be even more easier for my viewers and uh, we are going only to charge a small fee for us to choose the shoes for you all you have to do is uh, hit me up on my whatsapp number that is always on the description box and i'm going to plug you so hope that you're enjoying the video make sure that you like it make sure that you also comment on your thoughts about today's video Something else that I want you to note down is that um, you are also supposed to pay for the person that is going to use a trolley to transport the shoes from Gikomba up to where the lorry is and those lorries transport these parcels across the whole country and across Eastern Africa. Therefore, it means that you are going to buy these shoes at around maybe for example if you want 100 pairs of shoes. Uh, so you want, want 100 pairs of shoes oh, so that will mean that you'll pay around 7,000 to 8,000 depending on uh, the person that is going to choose the shoes for you and then you're going to pay 150 shillings for the trolley person and then the lorries will always charge between 200 and 300 shillings to deliver countrywide <laughs> If you look closely, you will realize that most of these shoes are very, very good quality shoes and all they need is just a small amount of cleaning, just put some Omo in water, clean them and then let them dry. Make sure that you put the shoelaces properly, display them, put some papers inside to give them shape and you're going to sell these shoes at least from 300 to even 700 shillings depending on the location you're going to sell them from. I know the air I'm breathing, it's no good for my lungs. I do this every season. I hate when summer comes. I fall into a trap that I made by myself. Oh, and I always do the wrong thing. I'm unstable and I'm unsteady. I've lost a million times already. And I'm so sorry, but I'm not able. So if you have bought your stock that has costed you 8,000 shillings and then you go and sell them at 300 shillings, remember that you bought around 100 uh, pairs of shoes, that will give you a cool 30,000 shillings. So uh, if you take the 30,000 that you get from all the shoes and then you minus the total cost that you used, maybe 8,000 plus a few hundreds for transport, maybe 8,500, you're going to have a balance of around 22,000. So profit is 22,000 if you sell those shoes at 300 shillings. But if you wash them properly and then they just look very, very beautiful and you sell them at 500 shillings, those shoes will give you a cool 40,000 shillings, 40K. That means that you get a profit of over 30,000 profit. Think about that.
Lions roaring in the morning sun. An opportunity is presented once and it is only the lucky few who notice the opportunities and act. For somebody that you call a pessimist, uh, that person will concentrate on the dirty shoes, concentrate on uh, the distance from where they live to Gikomba, concentrate on why should I give an extra coin for the 50 shilling shoes. That is a pessimist that is just there to criticize, not seeing anything positive about these positive business opportunities. But somebody that is an optimist, optimist. That person is seeing an, a very, very good opportunity to invest their money in. And I'm going to help you go through this Gikomba plug or Gikomba hall. Just reach me on WhatsApp and we will organize how you get uh, your luggages from wherever part of this country you are in. Already we have done almost 10 deliveries countrywide. Some of those videos I have filmed here in Kate Vlogs. And I hope to uh, to do a lot of even more businesses with people. Let us help people improve their lives. And that is my mission here on YouTube. Say what you want to say to me now. I want to wake up with you. Kindly give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it to other viewers like you who want such kind of business ideas. And also comment down below on your thoughts about today's video. I'm gonna see you on my next one. Stars closed,